Hey, this is Josh Bills, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a buzz wire game. The way this game works is you have a loop, and you have to try moving that loop along the wire without hitting the wire. If you do, then a buzzer and light are going to go off. This is a really cool game that you can end up playing with your family or friends and compete to see who can touch the wire the least amount of times or time yourselves to see who can do it the quickest. And it's very open-ended and allows you to be creative and make your own designs too. To start off, we need a piece of plywood for our base. The size of the plywood really depends on the size of the game you want. So I go ahead and measure mine out and then cut it out. Next, we're going to need some thick copper wire. The copper wire that I use is the type of copper wire used for wiring in houses, so you can get this from any sort of hardware store or something like that. You can cut the rubber open to expose some copper wire in the middle of it. This copper wire is perfect for what we're building. Now we can go ahead and bend this copper wire however we like for our game. The closer the bends are, the more difficult the game is going to be. I actually found my game very, very, very difficult to complete without hitting the side, so you might want to make yours a little more simple than this. But this is the final product that I come out with. Next we're going to need the part that you're going to be holding in your hand. This part here is going to be copper wire as well. The part that we're working on right now is essentially going to act as a switch. When the copper wire in your hand touches the copper wire of the game board, it's going to complete a circuit which will cause the buzzer and the lights to go off very similar to the circuit diagram that I have below in the bottom right. Except instead of a switch we have our copper wires and when the copper from that we're holding in our hand touches the copper of the game that is basically the equivalent of turning the switch on and off. To alert players of the game that someone has touched the wire, we are going to have two LEDs that go off and one buzzer. Now we can flip to the bottom side and wire everything up the way that it's shown in our circuit diagram. Remember, instead of the switch, we have the loop that you're holding in your hand touching the game wire, which completes the circuit and acts as a switch. Now we're also going to add a resistor in here. The only reason we need a resistor is because the voltage of the 9 volt battery is a little too high for the LEDs, so it would blow the LEDs if we connected it directly. So we're going to put a 10 ohm resistor in between so the LEDs don't pop. Now we can go ahead and test the game out. Like I said before, it was very difficult. I couldn't finish it once without touching the side. I challenge you to build your own and see if you can do better than me. As always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Also hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I post cool videos like this. Thanks for watching.